Yo guys, it's your boy Nash. I haven't made any content this year properly. Anyway, so I thought I'll start proper content with a comparison video, which I'm gonna do with um, One Piece characters first. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I bang out um, Ben Blood a lot, and I love that game. Ben Blood's too good. And luckily for me, I have both of them, and the same developers developed both. So you can. With the comparison video, you see how much love to put in both games and how much love to put in each character and stuff. So, let's do this. So, what we're gonna do is the generic auto combo first. Obviously, the end is what everybody else has in the, this game. But um, the end in the last slash is kind of similar to the one in um, Burn of Blood. This is heavy attack. Yeah, very similar. He's up, up combo. That down combo is this. I love this combo. I fucking love it. Um, I see from this he has ejection shot. Shambles if you hold it down. This move right here, so good. If they had it burning blood, they'd be so broken. But it's so good. Ah, uh, well, I know Burning Blood don't have that, but it's in Pirate Warriors 3 and probably 2 as well. Uh, Radio Knife. Same, similar ended as the Burning Blood one, but in this game it's unblockable, it takes 2 meter. In Burning Blood there's no meter, so. And then it's just a generic awakening for everybody in this game. But he has his arm attack aura bouncing off him. Quite cool, because this game don't have the hacky system where Burn Blood does. And then his old, obviously, runs up to you, slash man up, shambles, gamma knife. Fair damage, awakened anyway. But the follow up into the gamma knife is very dramatic and sick, I love it. Um, So let's check out Burn and Blood now, innit? Alright, now we're in Burning Blood, as you can see, and uh, this game looks more lively. Spike Chonsoff has put in bare effort into this game, they love this game so much. Look at the graphics, the shading's great, the, the bull fighting fish in the background are moving, the water's moving, we got the crowd as well. There's three different versions of floor in this game, technically two of them are the same, one of them's got um, the different moves. This game, there's a hacky system. Use the hacky just to generic hacky. Where jump force, it has the armor hacky, the black team. Yeah. Um, for special attacks, he has um, room. For him to do special attacks in this game, he has to activate room. Yeah. Where and then jump force room has it activates first, and then he does his attack, which is cool. But in this game, he's a technical character, so you have to play a bit more technical with him. Uh, the generic law and heart law, they have. Gamma knife, like normal, like that, which does a lot of damage by itself. Um, also, he has ejection shot, very good move, and also in this game, it's a projectile. Yeah. Um, next thing, um, obviously, because room is not um, a move in that game, and um, jump in burning blood. If you press back square. And you're outside of it, and your opponent's inside of it, you can kill him. You can have a tap room or hold it down to make it bigger. But obviously, whilst room is out, you, his stamina is supposed to deplete, but his health goes down because there's no stamina system in this game. Um, if you press triangle whilst the room, he instantly goes behind you and attacks you. Just cool. Um, his auto combo in room has an ender. Goes straight into injection shot. Without room, it opens. Without room, it just opens up room, which is cool. Um, next thing now, um, triangle attack, which is his heavy. It launches, and after the launcher, you can just do a normal auto combo or whatever you want to do. Baking in now in this game, um, different because there's a cutscene of a character doing something, which is cool, and it has the kanji in the back, which is cool too. His special in this game is him taking away your heart. And he opens up a massive room bigger than fully charged one. Which is good. If you kill the opponent, you get a dramatic finish. Obviously. 
Um, let me just do that for you. Alright, cool. I'm gonna show you the ending cutscene thing. Oh, did they felt that. I don't think it's gonna work. You got his health back already. Oh no, it worked. Yeah, this is this is the cutscene that you would get in this game if you kill the opponent. You get a dramatic finish like that. And also, as you can see, the room is much larger as usual. Cool. Um, there's three different laws. This is the dual law. His moves different, so that one had injection shot and gamma knife, which jump force has. This one. He has Radio Knife, which Jump Force has. It's not unblockable in this game like in Jump Force. But you also have Blade of Death, which allows sets him up to do combos. Which is cool. So, I think that's about it, really. So, tell me your thoughts. I'm planning on doing this for multiple anime games that I have, which have characters in that game for Jump Force. So just tell me your thoughts, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to do more. So if I don't get enough, whatever. I'm just going to only do the One Piece thing because they it's the, both the same company and it's a good comparison to see how much love and thought they put into the game. And if anything, I could probably jump from Jump Force and JSR's comparison. So yeah.